tightening COVID restrictions. Yeah, I mean, they're doing masks, they're doing vaccinations, they're doing all that in Hawaii, but it's not enough. And now the governor is saying, stay away. They don't want you to go there just for fun. Only travel if you have business in Hawaii. Yeah, trying to limit the number of people coming to the islands. Crawford's Yoli Seva is live for us out at SFO with more on this story. Yoli. Yeah, well, Governor Ige of Hawaii is telling people only if it's absolutely for business. They're just trying to get a handle on the spread of the COVID-19 Delta virus. It is spreading pretty fast and quickly uh, there in Hawaii. In fact, right now, uh, multiple Oahu hospitals have their regular beds practically at capacity. In fact, uh, just last Friday, uh, they uh, the city of Oahu set up a 25-cot tent outside of Queen Medical Center, which is west in West Oahu. So they're really trying to get ahead of the game. Too many people are coming in at the emergencies. They're getting near capacity. Hawaii's governor did do an extensive plea of why it's important for people not to travel to their island. So let's take a listen. It is a risky time to be traveling right now. I, I did ask everyone, residents and visitors alike, uh, to reduce travel to Hawaii to essential business activities only. Uh, we do know that um, it uh, is not a good time uh, to travel to the islands. Uh, restaurant capacity has been restricted. Um, there is limited access to rental cars. Uh, and we know that the visitors who um, choose to come to the islands will not have the typical kind of um, holiday that they expect to get when they visit Hawaii. Now, Governor Ige says he supports Honolulu's mayor's announcement to restrict indoor gatherings to 10 people and outdoor gatherings to 25. This rule takes effect on Wednesday and will apply to weddings and other big events. Uh, the uh, governor is also urging people to get vaccinated. Now, you know, we talked about this is all to try to curb not gatherings that are big. In fact, some of their uh, modelings that they got said that you know, in a group of 10, it's about like a 20% chance that somebody will have COVID. But when you bump it up to like 100 people, now you have a 90% chance that there is someone there with COVID. And that's how these things become these super spreaders. And this is all the reason why right now Hawaii is saying that, no, we got to slow it down. We can't have people traveling in and out because they really want to try to get a, a handle of the spread of the COVID-19 Delta variant because it is hitting hard there right now. Back to you guys. Okay, thanks a lot, Yoli. All right, it is 6-11, still